All right, thank you so much, Brooke. It was a good summer for haying crews at the Kirkpatrick Ranch. The weather was good for long, productive days. Kevin Mackey continues your Montana moment. It's lunchtime. Everybody looks forward to Amy Wood's arrival. Amy's the ranch cook. She tells us when we start haying because she is our mainstay. She's kind of the, the food that keeps us all together. <laughs> it's a noon feast. Sloppy Joes, pulled pork sandwiches, salad and Kool-Aid. Troy's wife Grace brings their young son Towns. Towns is the boss man, the real ranch form. What are you doing? He says, I'm done. After lunch, crews start working on a field about a half mile away. The beaver slide is ready to go at its new location. It's perfect weather for the buck rakes to move fast. And now it's hot and dry, so we can get it put up. The Kirkpatricks put up about a thousand tons of hay a year. It's been a productive growing season with a good to average crop. We had a cooler spring, but it actually works better for this, this grass hay. You know, if it gets too hot, it, this grass doesn't, doesn't care for that real hot weather. Rudy Polly mows hay. He likes working on the old equipment. Yeah, I like the old stuff. Easy to work on. Yeah, yeah, easy to work on. And, and uh, we've got quite a few of them, so we're never, never down for more than a couple hours. Rudy's a truck driver by profession, but has been helping the Kirkpatrick's hay since he was a freshman in high school. You know, it's kind of a vacation for me. Get out of the truck, and, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a nice, nice change of pace. There's never a bad day. I think it's a pretty cool tradition. Rudy went to school with the Kirkpatrick's daughter, Sydney. Michael says he's like their other kid. Michael Kirkpatrick, she, she, uh, she told me that since I come up here and they and they showed me how to do everything, all the, all the training that went into that, I had to come back until I was 40. Scott Tallman Powers operates a buck break. They're backwards. Luckily, I, I learned how to, how to drive with a stick, but I had to reverse everything. And then the hydraulics can be kind of kind of iffy sometimes, and, and it's just kind of uh, has a lot of nuance to really get it. So I do my best not to get stuck. Scott can't spend much time at the ranch. You might be surprised what he does for a living. He's a professional artist from Butte who's painted portraits and landscapes all over the world. Scott's done several paintings on the Kirkpatricks in their everyday life. He says the family and the work they do inspire him as an artist. Me coming out to help and work and getting dirty, um, I can actually feel it. And then I can get that into my paintings and it can be something more authentic. It's a conduit to my paintings and, um, and it, hopefully it tells a story. See, I don't, I don't have any real desire to join the modern world. I, I mean, to me, this is modern because we're not using horses to put it up. It's a Montana moment. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times it becomes like a, like, like your family in a way, you know, spending so much time with them and them teaching me so much stuff. And I just have a lot of respect for them. At the end of the day, the crew shuts the equipment down, gives the buck brakes and beaver slide a rest, and head home where Amy will have supper ready. Then they'll start all over again the next day. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again, or if you missed one of my previous stories, you can watch every Montana moment in a special segment on our website at NBCMontana.com.